don't like, Vada Fly gonna recap this and say Gotti caught a 30 on the John Road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy, y'all the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. We used to rapping like that. Oh, nice. I you pay for a titties, I pay for the telly. We are not the same, remember that. My shooter got aim, it's out of this world. I'm talking some shit off a minute block. How many, how many, how many, how many niggas you gonna keep putting in front of Nitty? Hmm? How many niggas you gonna put in front of Nitty and it's the same result? Hmm? How many people you gonna put in front of Nitty until he gets the name that he deserves? Hmm? How many? You seen what he did to Don? It's clear 30. This one here, Holmesy, it's a fight. I'm going to say that. It's a fight. It's definitely a fight. You know, like, like, like Rum Nitty versus Holmesy, the guy, definitely is a smoke battle. I'm smoking it. I need to digest it just a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? This is one that can be that can be divided around the monks because I'm, I got a couple things to talk about. But I, the first thing I want to ask is how many? How many? How many people you won't put in front of, in front of Rum Nitty that the fans necessarily don't see that battle going any different? How many times do you have to put a battle up where it's Rum Nitty versus somebody and somebody is clear and we're clearly saying Rum Nitty three up? Is there any battle out there that's gonna make Rum Nitty go? Ooh, let me let me step back real quick. Is there any battle that's gonna make Rum Nitty motivated to want to kill a nigga? Because I'm gonna put it to you like this. Rum Nitty battled Holmesy the God, and Holmesy the God tried his very best. And Holmesy the God tries his very best in every battle. Holmesy the God has battles where he's done so much with that emotion and that conviction that it got him to win that battle. It got him all the way through a whole tournament. Holmesy the God got material. Holmesy the God brings something to the table, and that is passion. And that is the conviction. I believe Holmesy because Holmesy is a fan. Holmesy sounds like me if I were to rap. Holmesy sounds like or the same thought process of what we like and what we don't like in rappers. But this is how I would approach it. Or this is how I would approach you if I would have the opportunity to approach you. But the problem is, Holmesy, is that I feel you. But them niggas don't be feeling you, bro. But I ain't gonna lie to you. In the, in the chat, though, in the chat, they was definitely showing Holmesy a lot of love, man. Because in the second round, it's a lot closer than a lot of people think. But me personally, I think the closest round is probably the second round. Um, but it's 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 another clear battle of another clear win for Rum Nitty. Rum Nitty really has too many bars, bro. Like Rum Nitty really has has too many bars. He says, I'll give your family the business starting with your mom and pop. Double entendre. I'ma give your family, I'ma give your family the business starting with your mom and pop. pop. Or I could give your whole family the business starting with your mom and pop. And that, that was just that was one of the lighter bars. How many? How many people you gonna keep putting in front of Rum Nitty before y'all realize to y'all selves that y'all need to have him cooking somebody? Because he can't just keep cooking somebody that's of a lower tier than him. No disrespect to Holmesy the guy. But this does seem like a super fight and it feels like a rookies versus vets or a lower tier versus a higher tier. That's what it feels like and that's what it is tonight. Now, a couple things that I do enjoy from the battle that I do believe I need to see this again. I really want to dissect what Holmesy is saying. I need to dissect what Rum Nitty was saying because I caught Rum Nitty shit right off the jump. But Holmesy had a lot of stuff that I was feeling too. But it just seems like it was falling on deaf ears, man. Either that or just all that conviction and all that believability. Nobody in that room was believing him. I understand the crowd, crowd, no crowd, kind of, kind of crowd. So the people that are there, they think they, they all battlers. All those people that are behind there right now are all battlers, bro. So that means they all think alike or of the same. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, 
I'm 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 confused because like I really want to see who else they got for Nitty. Like 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 if it's not a top tier name or a higher higher level name, it's kind of pointless. He just gonna be beating up these niggas all day long. Like I don't understand why y'all niggas keep doing this to Nitty. Like I just can we at least get a battle where oh I might not have Nitty winning this battle. That don't happen, bro. Home Z, Home Z. Good shit, my nigga. Good shit. You tried. And it was very good, but I don't think it was enough. Yeah, yeah. You already know what it is. Salute to the subscribers that notification gang, RiceGangClothing.com for the merch that you heard me right. So, Rum Nitty versus Homesy the God just went down. I peeped the battle. Um, I like this one. I'm not going to lie. I like. What Rum Nitty was able to do, I like what Homesy the God was able to do. Um, punches, 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 punches. You know, when you get Rum Nitty, you know you're gonna get a lot of punches, you're gonna get a lot of lines, you're gonna get a lot of name flips and shit like that. Homesy the God, you know, he got a lot of conviction. He definitely does his thing, and you have to realize where Homesy is going with it. Like I see his career trending upwards. You know what I'm saying? He's been getting battles. He won the tournament, and now he's getting thrown in. To see some names, you know what I'm saying? That's what it's gonna be. Like he's gonna see this level of competition moving forward. You know what I'm saying? And the thing about Rum Nitty, Rum Nitty, I've been wondering why Rum Nitty hasn't been getting bigger names. He battled Don Marino on the last joint, and now he's facing um Holmesy on this one. Now, I do got some lines, I definitely do. Holmesy comes out the gate. He has a, a house with no AC, the fan shit went out the window, because you know you got the fan out the window. Fan out the window, that was a dope line. The baby group line, first step admission line. He had a uh, just cause for it, just, it's, it's gonna be just because for any reason. It'll be just because. It'll just be cause. Like as in Rum Nitty's cuz, it'll just be cause for any reason. Uh, he had the, um, my flow gonna be all upstairs, and that's another reason. Uh, rum and tea like a hot tidy. I've heard that kind of line used against Rum Nitty. But you know what? I'm still here with it. I definitely like the energy that Holmesy had in this first round. He's always got dope energy. Rum Nitty comes out. Um, God called him home line. Uh, wrong judgment. Up for appeal. Up, 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 pull up for up appeal. Uh, he had Thank God Made It, like the Darwin Theory. Then he had a line about calling Jazz on a work number. You know, Jazz, you know, y'all know, y'all niggas know what Jazz's work number, right? Okay, okay, we don't have to do that. We don't have to do that. Uh, test me, I'll shut down the whole event. I'm that positive. Because, <sighs> you know, the last event got shut down because COVID was that positive. I do have Rum Nitty winning after the first round. Not going to hold you. Um... Let's go to the third round. Let's switch it up a little bit. Um, he said uh, he Holmesy came with a dope angle in his third round. Uh, he, he he started talking about how Rum Nitty had all these battles, but he never really had a knockout. Like he never really has a body. Like he don't Rum Nitty is one of them niggas who gets busy with the bars, but he don't body people. Like he don't be catching bodies like that. Never has, but he has a lot of punches. Uh, he said, uh, you did all of that work versus T-Top and he smoked you with one haymaker. Do you believe in a parallel universe? Now, you know, you smoked him with one haymaker. Now you are all sponsored by haymaker. I like that. I like that. Um, first impression, uh, never leave a lasting impression. He said, how you first on the app and impressions, but you never leave a lasting impression. I like that. Called him a puncher with no reach. Then he started talking about hustling. He said, uh, hella wet and more boy than a Cortez round. Because you know Cortez be boy. Boy, that, that was, that was fire. Um, he said, uh, my conviction almost at a hundred. Bitch, I could compete with the feds. That was fire. He said, my conviction almost at a hundred. I could compete with the feds. I like that. Um, presence, I ain't even got it. Like, that's a thought that counts. He said, presence, I ain't even want. Like, it's a thought that counts. Uh, Rum Nitty back out on homes like a Barbie house. Because, you know, the Barbie houses be having to back out, back out on homes like a Barbie house. Uh, I know how you thank God I've been praying on you. Put a nigga in the morgue and ask God, Bruce Almighty. Give your whole family the business starting with your mom and pop. Starting with your mom and pop. <laughs> uh, light up the skull on homes like Halloween decorations. Always end with a negative result. You don't got it. Fire round by both of these individuals, but I'm gonna take it to the second. 
Uh, in his in Holmes' second round, cheap material you use holding by a thread. That was fire. Holding by a thread. Right, he was talking about Rum Nitty. Uh, said it if you meant it. Uh, webinars, motherfuckers learn when I speak. Rum Nitty second round. He said I woke. He said the, the Puerto Rican, the Mexican woke up speaking to the doctor in Spanish, and you gonna get pressed too. <laughs> you wanna speak Spanish? Press too. <laughs> Oh, that's fire. Um, searching for a body like WebMD. Uh, bitch come out of homes like a doggy door. I liked it. Like, I definitely liked it. Overall, in this battle, Holmesy did his thing. Um, I had Rum Nitty taking the first round, and I had the two split in the second and third. Um, I got Rum Nitty close one. Um, Rum Nitty, I don't feel like he was at a thousand percent. Um, I feel like it's at a, and I feel like, and I feel like, Rumney's getting to a point with some of these battles where I, he's going to need to have higher levels of competition. Because even with the punch, the punch, the punch, the punch shit, it's exciting. But there's going to be people who feel like Holmesy won, and I'm not mad. I got Rumney winning this shit by the closest of margins. I don't have no Gentleman's 30. I don't have no, no wash or none of that shit. And Holmesy should have no reason to feel down. Um, I think the app votes had um, Holmesy 2-1. I wasn't really, I jumped on the joint to do the recap, but... uh. You know, good battle by Holmesy, good battle by Rum Nitty. Uh, you know, it's one of them joints I'll watch again and all that and all of that, but uh, showtime. You got the juice, then give me that. So official with the flash. Got a mood to kill a game, I might just hit you with it last. All squad, take a shot and then I hit you with the pass. Never thought I'd be this good, I feel like Mitchell with the jazz. Straight up, I crossed dude last week and I got him falling still. A tag team like standing near a ball and bill. It's all the skill, A shot, I shoot it, drop in. We turn it up to 11 just for the top 10. SC at night, who dunking for real? I seen Dennis Smith jump and almost jumped in the wheel and left the gym. I keep coming with them worldwide heaters. Go by Jag the All-Star and we the worldwide leaders. Straight